welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. You're watching Anime Club. You know the deal where me and... William Haynes. There you go. Watch the first few episodes of an anime series and give you our first impressions and such. I'm Raina Scully. And I am also William Haynes. Again. This week we watched Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Dude. Sailor Moon. Which is super exciting because it is a reboot. Mm -hmm. It's not a sequel or anything mm -hmm. like that. It is a reboot. From the beginning. You want to see it from where it started, where it all began. This is what you need to watch. Hell yeah! This reboot is supposed to follow more of the manga, and it does truly so. Mm -hmm. um, even in the animation, you could tell uh, it's very drawn. I love that. I love when... Uh, I. I it saddens me when I feel like animation is gonna go towards like more CGI things. Mm. I love it when things look like it's done by hand because it means hard work mm -hmm. and, 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 and creativity. And, and, and well, it does that too with the anime. Well, I like it better that way. I think it was supposed to try to bring back the very old school feel mm. of anime. Mm. And it did a really good job. It did really well. I do have a couple qualms about it. Super lanky. She's supposed to be in the eighth grade, right? Yes. There's only one little boy in this show, and he's like this tall, Shingo? and Sailor Moon's like this tall. Yeah. And uh and Tuxedo Mask is like this <laughs> tall. It's like, yeah, in eighth grade, girls were taller than boys, but yeah, not yeah. by like six feet. And Shingo's a little brother. He's not supposed to be like oh, No, no, not even good. Shingo. Oh, uh, Umino. Yeah, the, the, the crazy guy. eyes. Umino. Crazy yeah. eyes. Crazy, crazy eyes. eyes. I must have forgotten so much about the Japanese version of this mm. anime because the voice actresses are all the same, which is really lovely and cool, and that's definitely a nice throwback to the 90s retro feeling. Um, but damn, Usagi's voice, man. Mm. I wasn't, I, like I said, I must have forgotten how high mm. that voice was, but it was kind of a shocker. I yeah, was kind of like, yeah. oh, eighth graders don't yeah. sound like it's, this. It's, even still, it's not like uh, uh, Monica Magica, Corella de Ville Magic Town, where the voice is so high pitched. It's pretty high pitched, but it's not too high pitched for me. Yeah. I think I'm used to it. She does speak like a buriko, which is kind of like a cutesy manner of speaking. Mm. Um, and I don't know what it is. I know she's supposed to be clumsy. Um, it's supposed to be that like main character who's super duper, but is flawed, which I appreciate. Mm. But maybe they could have made her a little bit less dim-witted. Oh, you want some some intelligence. Like, I don't know. Like we were talking about, like I, I we need a we need a, like a tough from Avatar. Ooh, yeah. We need somebody that's got some some cool. guts. I need a woman that could beat me up. Well, she could probably beat me up. But I need a woman that talks like she could beat me up. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're gonna get it in Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mars in a Ooh. little bit. It's been like over decades since decades. I've seen Sailor Moon. Me too. Moon. I don't remember a single thing about yeah. the show except the intro for some reason. I remember the music, the like the, the, the lyrics to the opening song. Fighting other than evil that, by moonlight. And I remember the that? tuxedo mask. Yeah, I remember that. But other than that, I don't remember anything about this yeah. show until we watched it. I remember specific episodes. Um, I also remember watching it again in English when I was older on Toonami mm -hmm. in like 98 or something. Yeah. Another issue I had was that tuxedo mask doesn't call her Meatball Hen. He calls her Miss Bump. Mm. I did not like that at all. That mm. First of all, that sounds weird. Miss Bump? I mean, Meatball Hen sounds pretty weird too, but okay. No, it does, but like, there must be something that I remember iconically to for her to be Meatball Head. And in Japanese, he calls her Dango Atama. Dango are like those rice balls that mm. are round and stuff, and mm. that's what he's calling her. So Meatball Head made so much sense. Miss Bumps doesn't. I don't know what it is. It, it, it feels like she's diseased. I don't know. Mm. So the first episode, I think, is almost exactly like the first episode in the 90s, which makes sense. It isn't manga okay. adaptation, um, where Usagi is completely normal, clumsy, and then mm. she discovers that she has powers because she she's the chosen power. one. She got a she's a pretty she guardian. Got a thing and then she can do all that stuff, yeah. and then she got a. a whoosh, yeah, oh yeah. And then a. Uh, what else does she have? It, uh, uh, that's all weapons I think she's got so far. Right? Yeah, she also has a supersonic cry wave, but that's Which works. That's, yeah, which works. works. What a way to discover that. A good thing she discovered it there, not somewhere yeah. else crying. She started freaking out and crying, and it created a sonic wave, and it, like, uh, what is it? It. It shattered windows. It shattered windows and it's it debilitated. Yeah. yeah, and it debilitated like the zombies. It was very bizarre. Speaking of that, I love how this was the easiest a villain has ever been killed in the history of the world because oh. she just threw the boomerang at her and she was like, "Oh no, my only weakness she, like, is molten. violence." And then she yeah. just <laughs> She just crumbled. Yeah, uh, it makes sense though. It's the first episode, you know. You got to build up to the more mm -hmm. evil, yeah, more yeah, stronger, yeah, yeah, yeah. more powerful villains and such. Um, she was pretty gross though. The first two iconic characters we are introduced to is obviously Usagi and Luna. Luna. I can Luna. honestly say I'm not a cat person. I'm not a cat person. However, 
I do like black cats, mm. uh, so I do like Luna. Luna's purple. And I just, oh wait, oh snap, she <laughs> No, is. no, they call her a black cat though, it's just animated She is, purple. the color is actually I know, purple, it's dark really purple. Weird. It's always been a weird thing. And anyway, I'd like to say that Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service is the best anime cat of all time, but Luna is a close second. I gotta agree with that. We're gonna learn later on, much like in the original series, that there is a queen barrel, because everything got spoiled in the opening theme song, as don't always. Watch it. <laughs> Number one rule of anime, don't, don't watch, watch the, the opening intro, theme. Because it don't. always tells you this is exactly what's gonna happen yeah. In this season. We will see Queen Beryl. I'm excited to see how she's depicted. Right now, she has a lackey that summons other lackeys, so we don't have any idea of who Queen Beryl is. What about is those at all. lackeys? Who do they summon? More lackeys. Oh. I'm so confused on how there's like in the show, there's already a sailor person who's doing super heroic sailor things. Sailor Blee! And then there's also Sailor Moon, yes. who's the person doing heroic things. Yep, yep, yep. And they look the same. Oh yeah. Are arguably. they the same guy? No. Or is she the same dude as the other no, chick? No, 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 no. They're different. Um, they they do look very similar. Um, but they're different in color. Like their Sailor Scout outfits are different, and uh, you know. Uh, I'm a Usagi. man. I'm a man. I can, I can only see like three the... colors. Oh. Okay. Are you a dog? Yeah. I'm the dog. Oh, oh <laughs> Rain is a dog. <laughs> Sailor V and Sailor Moon are two completely different people. Mm -hmm. Sailor V, well, okay, spoilers, but anybody who's ever seen anything about Sailor Moon knows this. Spoilers, though. Artemis is Luna's counterpart. It, there's, it's another cat. He's white, and it's a Oh, he. And yeah. Yeah, he finds Sailor V before Luna is able to find Sailor Moon. So Sailor V is guided into being a Sailor Scout before Sailor Moon. But they are on the same team, and they're fighting for the same thing, which is the Silver Crystal, the legendary Silver Crystal. Which, which like, fixes dimensions, as you told me earlier. Yeah. Well, what it's supposed to do is it harvests all this power and it's like they're actually supposed to be on the moon and there's a whole moon kingdom and a moon realm and a planetary realm and such and they're stuck on Earth so it's supposed to fix all of that space-time continuum. Oh. Why is she called Sailor Moon when that's like the smallest thing in the solar system? I know! The, the Venus I is know! Like, okay, but. It's so egocentric because it's like, you know, from Earth the moon is big. Yeah, but yeah. did they not know Shame. science back in the 90s? So, Will, do you think you're going to watch this uber super duper girly bishoujo <laughs> sentai uh, anime it's it's so shoujo that she has lip gloss on during the show um but I would, I would like to say that it wasn't difficult to watch. Oh. I'll give it that. It was not, uh, it didn't bother me. It okay. didn't feel like it took forever. So I did enjoy it mm. a bit. I a liked bit. it. I remember I loved Sailor Moon when I was a little boy. Oh, but cute. now But now I've grown up and got a darkness in my heart. And oh. I don't know if I can still see it. So, uh -huh. But so far it's pretty good. I also called it Sentai by accident. I didn't really mean to. It's more like Sailor Senshi. Senshi as in like fi fighters or like soldiers or whatnot. Mm. Sentai is like masked people like mm. Power Rangers. Power Ooh. Rangers is a Sentai. Oh, yeah. activate! I really enjoyed it. Um, it really tugged on my heartstrings when she transformed, and as she's transforming, the first thing that happens is her nails. I turn remember pink. that too from my from my Loved boyhood. That. I do remember her nails her boyhood ch changing color. That yeah, and when she um transforms and her boots go like into ribbon. The, 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 the ribbon thing right yeah, here. Yeah, it wraps I up I like that. I remember that as well too. Yeah, I really loved that. So that really it. It, it gave, gave me you, chills. It gave you the little. It gave me the little chills. It gave me the little, 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 little goosey bumps. It's called Frizzone, is what that's it called. It gave me Frizzone. So you know, it's called Frizzone. Yeah. Just for that feeling alone, I want to watch it again. I also, I'm just interested in seeing how each of the Sailor Girls are going to be. I want to see. Ami, mm. I want to see Sailor Jupiter, mm. Mars, I want to see how they depict them. Mm. I'm interested in Sailor V as mm. well. So I think I'm just going to watch it for nostalgia purposes, but. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit taken aback by her voice. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Maybe I assumed it was something else. I want her and Luna's voice to switch. Yeah, I don't really I know. So that's all we have for you on Sailor Moon this week. But, 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 uh, I'm gonna be at Comic-Con this week, so we're gonna skip a week of Anime Club. I'm oh, sorry. No. But when we come back, we're gonna watch Akamega Kill. Akamega Kill. Yeah! Really? And that one's special because I translated it! Yep. Oh. Super Mega Kill was translated by our own Raina Scullies. Oh, yeah. And it's great. It's action. It's gory. It's also got a little bit of like a horror element to it, which you might not scares. appreciate. I like but scares. But it's good. It's action. It's fun. It's adventure. The main dude's awesome. 
I'm excited. I'm obviously for it. biased. I'm I'm excited. I feel like you're gonna enjoy it. We'll see. Yeah. So if you wanna check out Akamega Kill along with us, head on over to crunchyroll.com slash sfnerd to get your free premium membership trial. Remember to take a video of yourself, give us your review, and come back again next week. And, and in that in that video, draw us a picture of Sailor Moon and just show it to us. Show yeah. it to us in the video. Show me what you in think she looks like. In the name of the moon, I Actually, shall. Actually, draw the cat. Draw the cat. Luna. Draw Luna. Draw Luna. Is it purple or is it black? Let me know when you're drawing. Take a video of yourself giving us your review with the hashtag SFNAkame and come back again next week like a friend. So for this particular genre, it is very clearly Maho Sojo. Maho Sojo means magical girl. This is definitely a magical girl genre simply because they're magical girls. Everything just pops out the colors of like the background, like it's amazing it looks spectacular i didn't know what to expect i guess because she's such an icon like everyone knows sailor moon i guess i expected her to be a strong intelligent i i don't know i, I expected it to be a bit more than what she was but there's only been two episodes released so you know there's plenty of time for her character to develop did they did her hair get longer i think her hair got a little bit longer than before so it's like everywhere too uh yeah, she needs to get that controlled. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it should be coming out every week, not every other week, because that's just being mean. Fighting evil by moonlight. Winning love by daylight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one named Sailor Moon. Da -da -da -da. Good job. Yeah, let's go.